Right, so we're at Chungmodo now. I'm just about to spin around. All right, so now I am walking down towards uh, where two pet shops are in Chungmodo. Uh, Chungmodo. Uh, I've come here because there's about seven or eight in a small proximity to each other. Uh, I've started on these two here, which are away and across the road from the others, because uh, I want to at least get some decent footage. Now, uh, these guys are more than likely going to tell me not to film. We've been here and done this before. Unfortunately, we were with big cameras and it was, you know, really obvious and they just kind of shoot us away very quickly. Hopefully this time we'll get a little bit more interaction. Oh, so we have uh, just some little puppies here. You know, these are what's called the teacup puppies. They're meant to be luxury puppies. As you can see, they're just generally on sale here. They normally cost around $1,000 each, maybe a little more depending upon the size of the dog. The smaller the dog, the more expensive they are. As you can see, like up here, we have a little chihuahua. And uh, these chihuahuas, well, probably going to be going for about a thousand dollars as well as for other little dogs like this one here it's probably around a thousand dollars as well uh, you know they look you know let's be honest they do look cute um, same with this little dog down here you cute no can I no I can't go inside no no picture oh, but they they're so cute. Why, why no picture? My dog. Oh, that's your dog? Uh, so I can picture no, this one? No picture. no picture. That's a little unusual. Why, why no pictures? My dog. Yeah. My dog. My... yeah also, also, also. Sorry? Deco. My dog. Yes? Oh. Yeah, but why no pictures? No picture. Oh, why though? My Deco. Yeah, but this is the street. I can film on the street. No problems. Okay, so um, that little dog there, he's saying no pictures, but there's, uh, I'm just going to ignore him because he has no legal standing here. Um, you know, he obviously owns the place, his dogs. See how small they are, really tiny, really tiny. You know, uh, dogs like these are being sent overseas, actually. Uh, they're not bought from here. They're uh, normally bred in, uh, forgive my... Uh, pronunciation in Korean but U I E J E O N G Bu Jong We Jong Bu uh, these are bigger dogs so these dogs are you know the custom made poodles so uh, they obviously aren't bred as a miniature so you can see the difference in sizes between say this dog here and then the poodle that we saw down there they're about a quarter of the size now this dog here is probably I don't know I'm going to presume it's around five or six months old. They're pretty cool. They're purebreds. Down at the uh, smaller ones that are sometimes, uh, you know, got from puppy mills, they don't want you to film because they are so small and uh, they're kind of against you filming. Now, if you notice this one in this particular shop, they've got uh, water and stuff for them to drink. That's your shop, not this one. Hey, don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. I'm on the street. I'm on the street. I'm allowed to film. I am allowed to film on the street. My dog. My dog. Yeah, but... My dog. That's nice that they're your dog. Sorry? You do? No, this is our... Our street. Our street. No charion. Ah. No charion. Ne charion. No charion. Ne charion. Can charion. No charion. Police. Get the police then. Get the police. Go and get the police then. No charion. Police. Go get the police. You can tell me, but I'm going to keep filming because I'm allowed to. So obviously this is his store as well, but anyhow, I just wonder whether these bigger ones are used for breeding. Anyhow. Say lovey, you know, I can stand there and argue, I could have someone speak Korean to him. At the end of the day, it's not going to change anything. So, all right, I'll just move on. So, what we're going to see across the road here is uh, more pet sh shops. So, there's about 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another one up inside the mall as well. And basically, you know, they're just gonna do exactly the same thing. So the pet stores are across the road there. So I've just come out of exit eight on Chungmaru, and this is basically it. So I'm gonna terminate this uh, broadcast, cross the street and start again. And I'm gonna put my spy glasses on this time because uh, I think the more people that uh, start to get angry at me, the chances are they'll start to get a little bit aggressive. Not bad, but a little bit. So uh, at least if they hit this camera out of my hand, I can then film with the other one. So uh, I'll see you in about five minutes.